Download Reshade with Add-on Support. Install it. Accept all. Select the game where you want to install it. Then choose the following add-ons. Insane Shaders. Immerse. Quark. Wait for the installation to complete. Go to my GitHub repository, link in description. Here, download the pre-configured reshade settings. Extract the archive. Open the game folder. Copy all files from the archive into the game folder, replacing existing ones. Now we need to download ray tracing shaders. To do this, either purchase them from the Martis Mod website or use free alternatives. Links are in the description or in my GitHub repo. If you've used Patreon, you probably already know how to do it. Just keep in mind that the $5 tiers is enough, the more expensive one, don't add anything significant. Next, join the Martis Mod Discord server and link your Patreon account. This will grant you access to the Mod Download channel. Download the specified archive from there, extract its content, and copy them into the Reshade Shader subfolder in the game folder, replacing the existing files. Installation is complete, now launch the game. On the first launch, shaders will take some time to initialize. Once you're in the game, ray tracing should already be applied. To check active shaders, press the home key. Here's how it look when disabled. You'll notice the reflection and volumetric lights are reduced after turning it off. And now, turn it back on. If reshade doesn't work, check these two things. First, display depth settings. In my case, this configuration works. Make sure to disable the reverse option. Second, Global parameters should be set correctly, like this. Now regarding key ray tracing settings. First one is field mode. This controls the ray tracing distance. The higher it is, the further the rays are visible. Next two parameters adjust the overall lightning intensity. The most important setting is how light interacts with surfaces. If you disable normals, light ignores textures and reflects directly off blocks. Let's check from another angle. First, remove the duplicate launch path. You can delete it from the shaders folder and test disabling normals again. As you can see, reflections return to their blocky appearance. No matter how I try to modify the following three parameters, the best visuals is achieved when they are set to the maximum. Thanks for attention and enjoy the game! See you in the next videos!